Okay, this is the same question as the last question. Certainly it's optional. And we say taking it will give you better options. They still give you the same thing over here. They asked for this, but now they say use logarithms to do it. So let's go through that. And looking at it, um, I got 12. X minus one over X is equal to three. I would take the natural log of both sides and you would get X minus one over X times the natural log of 12 equals the natural log of three. You probably multiply both sides by X and distribute the X minus one across the LN 12. So you get X LN 12 minus LN 12 equals X LN three. All right, get the x on the one side. That's going to be x ln 12 minus x ln 3 equals ln 12. Factor out an x. You get ln 12 minus ln 3 equals ln 12. I'm going to use the rules of log to simplify the logs. That's going to be the natural log of 12 thirds, which is 4, equals the natural log of 12. So x will equal ln 12 over ln 4. All right, let me show you that's written down for you. This here is right here, all right? And of course, what they want, they want to know what 8 to the x is, so it's pretty easy to write down. It's going to be 8, and that power is going to be the natural log of 12 over the natural log of 4, all right? Where's that answer written? Written... Uh, well, gee, it's really not written down. They do something simple with it. What do they do with it? They write this as 2 cubed. That's what 8 is. Raised to the power ln 12 over ln 4. Let me just continue with that. That's going to be 2. And this, again, this is 8 to the x, by the way. This is going to be 2 to 3 times the natural log of 12 over the natural log of 4. And that answer is written right here, All right? A to the x is this thing right over here. What's remarkable about this, though, it, it doesn't look like the last answer. And it might be a struggle to get there, but I want to see if I can do that. So let me just erase, you know, this stuff over here. And I kind of want to remind you what the last answer looked like. It did not look like that. There was no logs in it. So let's, let's review what that last answer looked like. A to the x. We said it's the last answer, was 24 root 3s. All right, let's go through it. The first thing I want to do is just take a look at the exponent, which is 3 natural log of 12 over the natural log of 4. All right? And that's going to be written as natural log of 12 cubed over the natural log of 4. I'm going to use a base change formula to take those natural logs and rewrite them. So let me just remind you that the natural log of x, let's say it equals y, you could rewrite this by saying, you know, x equals e to the y. And since I'm in base 2, I'm going to take a base 2 formula change. So I'm going to say log, whoops, I'm going to say log base 2, I did it again, log base 2 of x would equal log base 2 of e to the y, the y comes down. So log base 2 of x over log base 2 of e would equal y. So I'm going to rewrite those two logs now that were natural in terms of base e now. So let's do that. What's that going to be? Let's do the top first. That's going to be log base 2, 12 cubed over log base 2 of e. What goes on bottom? Log base 2 of 4 over log base 2 of e. Well, what's nice about this? It really kind of simplifies nicely. All right, so we just, I just remind you the base change formula. We just did that, and I'm going to simplify that. All right, let me go through the simplification now. So 3 natural log of 12 over the natural log of 4 is identical to now. I'm simplifying this. I notice the log base 2 of e drops out. I'm left off at log base 2 of 12 over log base 2 4. 
Well, this is a fast further. Let's keep writing it. So what do you get over here? Log base two of 12. And the bottom is, uh, you know, log base two of four is just two. So let me keep rewriting it. This could be one half log base two of 12, which is gonna be, let's see. I'm sorry, that's 12 uh, cubed. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to put that cube down over there. This is gonna be log base two of 12. Well, let's see, bring the exponent up, you can get three halves. All right, so I got something pretty simple now. And what do I know? I know that the, this really complicated log exponent, and let me just remind you, this complicated log exponent here turned out to be really simple. It turned out to be this expression over here, all right? And that's base two. So what I'm gonna do is go back to what I want, and you know, a to the x it was two raised to that crazy looking number. That crazy looking number turned out to be this. And what's nice about this is it really turned out quite simple. That two raised to log base two of, um, of the argument tw uh, 12 to 3 halves is just 12 to the 3 halves. And what's that mean? 12 root 12. And the root of 12 is actually 4 root, th um, I'm sorry, is um, 2 root 3s. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, root of 4 is 2. And 2 times 12 is 24. We're getting the exact same answer. Thank you.